Hi and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a cooter trace. Quite simply all you need is uh, what I'm starting to do is actually trace out the bait that I'm going to be using. So for instance since here I'm making a trace for a sardine. So quite simply get a white piece of paper and trace around the sardine. The reason you want to do this is to get your hooks lining up exactly in the right place. Um, quite important to do that, nothing worse than taking a bait out and your hooks hanging behind the tail or sitting in funny places. So always <clears throat> trace your fish, make sure you know where the head is. I usually mark out the head and the, uh, the fins as well so I can be quite exact on where I'm going. Okay, part two of that is breaking off some trace wire for your first treble. Okay, this is quite simple. And basically what you do is you measure out a piece. I usually just measure one just slightly bigger than the fish. You bend it um, and then open the bend, bend, open the bend, bend, open the bend. If you just keep doing this process, what will happen is the, the wire will just break quite easily. I'm using number 5 wire here, so quite a light lined trace. Um, I've gone quite light on my equipment the last little while. I'm also using number 6 mustard hook here. So basically what you do to do this is not quite simple. Make a little uh, kink in the, well not a kink, a little loop in your steel trace. And what you do is put your finger directly in and twist the wire at a 45 degree angle on itself. So the two wires must be wrapping around each other, not one wire wrapping around the other. That's a big mistake people make and usually lose fish because of that. Because what they do is they take one wire and they wrap it around the other one. Then they do the 90 degree uh, turnaround. But as you can see here... Um, I've, I've basically wrapped it at a 45 degree angle on itself. Then what you do is you take the smaller piece and you wrap it around the main line at a 90 degree angle. So 90 degrees and you just keep turning that about 6 or so times. So this is what's going to finish off your, uh, your wire uh, trace knot. So just keep doing that and there's quite a simple way to actually break this off. People use pliers. Pliers actually cause a sharp edge which ends up poking everything, poking your fingers. So there's just a good look at um, it at the moment. So basically you bend it down and you, you just keep bending it on itself, up, down, up, down, and what will happen is that wire will break off and it'll have absolutely no sharp edges on it. Um, you can actually run your fingers over it and it's perfect. Okay, quite simple. <clears throat> After you've done that, what I like doing is, um, okay, I'm just showing you the knot a little bit more. Okay, what I do is I get my second piece of wire which I've measured out and I stick it through the loop of the other trace. Reason being, if a wire gets pulled in two different directions, it's not going to pop off the hook in any way. So just make sure that your, your, your loop goes directly through the other loop that you've just created. And then again, again you're going to create the exact same knot. Um, just for time's sake, I'm not going to go through the knot again. If you want to see how it's done, just go back to the other one. Here I'm just showing you that, that 45 degree angle uh, turn again because that is very important to get right. I use my finger, it's the best way to do it. Okay, so you can just see how that's getting done. Okay, once you've done that, what you want to do is you just want to get your lead wire. I do a very small lead wire. Reason being when um, Dorado take, they don't break your line off that easily. You do lose fish like this, but very rarely. Again, what you can do is put it through the one of the other loops um, before tying out your tying off your lead wire. Okay, and that's what you should look like: two uh, lines and a lead wire. Then what I do is I place my hook as if it's in the fish's mouth, mouth, and I measure out my trebles. So quite simple. Once you've measured it, I put my my hook on in the right place. And then I bend it off over there. So this is going to be an exact, in the exact position that you want this bait to be. Um, once I've done that, I just bend it off and again do the knot. I repeat this process. So just again, exactly the same knot as you saw in the first little demonstration. Um, I then obviously do measure out the second hook. And I'm going to repeat the process again. Okay, after I've done this, you'll see I'm left with a, a hook and two... Uh, trebles. Now I'm going to take my my skirt. I love these uh, bright Lumo pink skirts. They seem to work really well. Um, at the moment, that's all I've got in my tackle box. I don't actually put anything else on. I know guys, some guys uh, do use different colors for different water um, colors, but uh, I just stick to the pink. It seems to work well for me. 
Okay, just slide that on. Um, once you've slid that on, you'll see it looks really nice. Even I'd eat that. Okay, then what you want to do is grab your treble. I've used a power swivel, number fives. So also gone quite small. I have heard of these breaking every now and again. So uh, do be aware of that. You might want to go a little bit bigger. But uh, what I really like doing is making my, my traces as petite as possible. So as small as possible, better for me. What I found now for a bait swimmer is what's called a down, uh, I don't know the exact name of it, but basically it's a little sinker with a piece of metal uh, loop on it. And then quite simply, uh, stick that down and there is your trace. If you have any questions on this, please feel free to email me at sean at fishingcorner.ca.za. That's sean, S-H-A-U-N, at fishingcorner.ca.za, and I'll be more than willing to help you out.